Hello everyone, Shadefire here with a, another terrible third-person platformer action kind of game, similar to Glass Wing. This is Rocco's Quest, or just Rocco Quest, I suppose. A game from 2003 that looks like an N64 game. Not necessarily in a good way, either. Alright, right after that we've got this awful, <laughs> extremely loud interface sound. Unfortunately, in the volume, the only thing I could turn down was the mu the music in the background. I couldn't actually turn down the uh, sound effects. So there was an awful FMV, super low quality cutscene there that I'll have to insert back in. Or is he noticing an immediately problem? This game runs at 16 frames. That's not like recording frame capping or anything. That is the frame rate it is running at. Alright, so how do we use a sword on your back? There we go. So, Rocco here, who is some sort of potentially handicapped individual, or he's a caveman or something, but then why does he have a sword that's clearly made of iron or steel? Also, those are some great damage sound effects. Alright, we got five lives, we got a health bar, we got... Wow, right mouse's jump. Okay, so, I'm trying to figure, like, why would we ever want to use the fists and not the sword? Uh, that was a... How, how come he only did that other jump animation where he just kind of didn't move, except for his legs? Alright, some platforming here. Oh. I should point out, too, that this is not just, like, a game that looks bad, you know, because it's aged poorly. This game has a 41 on Metacritic. Which, you know, Metacritic is not the best judge of the quality of a game, but it's usually a good indicator that it's probably got some problems if it's that low. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything other than kind of just swing. Like, I'm not sure if we got some Morrowind going on here, where... Okay, there's like a... There's a weird, like, auto-strafe lock-on when you get close to a guy, where if you hit sideways, you spin around him. Yeah! But yeah, it seems like you just kind of swing however he feels like swinging. Enemies are like sword sponges. What is that thing on the ground? Alright, can't go in there. I know he's a big blocky guy, but it kind of looks like those cuffs on his arms would probably, you know, cut off all of his circulation, and he wouldn't be able to fight very well. All 
Alright, I just want to check if it actually is the recording that is affecting the frame rate, or if it actually is just this terrible. Nope, no change in the frame rate. It is just going to run at 16 frames. So I apologize for anyone who gets motion sick from low frame rates. We don't even seem to move faster when we pull out the sword or put it away. Sneak mode. I'm just trying to figure out the keys here. We got... <laughs> the best mode. You'll never see it come. Oh, they do have health bars. I didn't even notice that. Just gonna punch his shit in. It does seem better at stunning them than the sword. It looked like his health went up a little bit there. So when they lose a certain amount of health, they drop their weapon? Or did I just get lucky? I don't know. Not really sure what's going on here in Rocco's quest. Or Rocco quest. I keep saying Rocco's quest. It has nothing to do with Rocco's modern life. Oh, tricky puzzle. We got a moving platform and this infinite pit of death miasma. Miasma? Sorry. I'm not talking about my asthma. What are these? Is that just supposed to be a path telling us where to go? Oh shit, I <laughs> almost jumped right over it into the pit. I really hope that cutscene wasn't in a horrible, compressed, proprietary format like a lot of these old games had. But, you know, if you didn't see it, then you didn't really miss much. Rocco made some uh, 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 noises at a uh, lady in a dress, and then a skeleton army with a goblin king came and kidnapped her. And now Rocco angry. If you did see it, disregard what I said and make your own interpretation. No, no, no. I am very determined to accidentally kill myself, apparently. But yeah, like, games look better than this in 2003, right? That's not just me remembering wrong. N64 PS1 era, that was mid to late 90s? Oh, fuck. I meant to jump, but I pulled my sword out instead. And it looks like now I have to run all the way back. Wait, is this just our trail? Are we just getting a trail that we can follow back? It looks like none of the enemies respawned or anything, so why even have us respawn all the way back there? Rocco, more like Rolo. I don't know what this untextured square here is supposed to be. Is that supposed to be part of the wall? Oh, fucking Christ. That is actually supposed to be water, not smoke, right? Alright, let's not do that again. Well, this sure is an exciting way to end off the first level. Just standing here waiting for these platforms, and I assume that's the end of the level right there. Also, you can see I died off screen again <laughs> from uh, jumping over the platform and into the water. What is that? Why is there just a stationary wall of bubbles? Is there some sort of bubble secret down there? It doesn't matter if you die as soon as you touch the water. Nope, it's just a checkpoint. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I was looking forward, not down. Oh boy. So, combat is not really the danger here, it's death by pit. That's just health, I guess. What? There's... I can see the water under the world. Why is that transparent there? Alright, keep an eye for these holes in the ground say to myself. Oh my god, I almost just jumped in another one. This is like Alien vs. Predator, but more deadly, with me not being able to see stuff. Alright, we got some sort of guard here. On guard. Oh, is this a, ske a skeleton? Or does it just sound like a skeleton? So enemies also kind of circle strafe you, it seems. 
See that sick dodge? Well, combat's pretty fucking awkward. I don't know why he sounds like he's roller skating. If I swing ahead of him, I can usually hit him. Oh. So yeah, this doesn't seem like a good way to dodge unless you can dodge under them, because it takes like a couple seconds to actually start that. Is that an enemy? Apparently. Ow! Fucking throw a rocket. At me. Wow. Whatever he threw does a lot of damage. And now I'm dead. The eternal struggle continues. Alright, made it past the death pits this time without losing any lives. And I've discovered that punching is mostly effective for disarming enemies. You, know, you break their weapon and then you can switch to your sword and stab them while they can't really do much. <gasps> what? Oh, the trees do damage. That's probably why I died. Walking to that stupid tree spike. Goblin's got some sick moves. I can't even tell if I'm taking damage. I don't think I am. I think he's attacking over my head. Sure, just walk, walk up the map, why don't you? I have no idea what these potions do. I guess that one gave me an extra life. But most of them seem to do nothing. What's that sound? Crushers. Alright. Probably need to find a switch or something to open that gate. Like a something over there. Oh, there's another jolly knight. Did I just like deflect him or did he block me? I like too that the particle effects don't ever go away. That's probably just because it's an old game running on a modern system, but I like to think that's probably just part of their design decision. Be like, this is how you know something happened here. Died there. I was like, that's pretty bullshit. I had a lot of health left. Was he just holding his arm up as though he had a shield? Like, if I don't acknowledge the fact that it's gone, it's still here. Alright, I got a lever here. Uh, uh, come on. There we go. No, assume that probably makes this platform move? No? Because there's another lever there. Another one of these guys, and another lever. Nice thing about the punch is you can hold it down and just circle strafe, but the sword you kind of have extra time. Man, I am mostly unable to tell what the fuck is going on in a fight because of the low frame rate. People complain about 60 FPS in a game? How about trying to play a game with 16 FPS? It's actually kind of nauseating. And I'm not usually bothered by things like frame rate problems. Okay, now he's just walking around me. Come here, you fuck. Oh my god. I think he lost his weapon, so I'm just gonna start stabbing him. Hit 
It seems like enemies just have an auto dodge that triggers a lot. Can't see him in the sea of particle effects. I probably can only take like one or two hits from this guy. Yeah, he's definitely holding his arm out as though he has a shield still. Like they didn't want to give him a resting position. Man, are you all having fun yet with Rocco Quest? Aren't you just realizing how much of a hidden gem this is from the 2003s? Okay, that one made this thing move. Let's wait for our ice cream cone to drift over here. Again, I'm not really sure if there's any reason to sheave. Now, when I was making my way back here, I almost missed a jump and grabbed the edge of one of these floating platforms, so I'm wondering if you can only grab when you have your sword put away. You know, kind of platforming mode. Got our health back here. How long is this first level? Oh, Jesus. Well, let's just chill here, I guess. Just, uh, you know, take a squat. Wait for this thing to come back. So how are you all doing? Shiraco here is doing just fine. Hell, he's got seven lives. What does he need to worry about? He just needs to find the princess. Ugh, ugh. Smash goblin. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Oh, uh, into the bubble tank. Uh, do I really want to see the end of this level, or is it just going to go on forever? I guess we'll give it one more go. And then I remembered it's not so bad because all the enemies are still dead. Oh boy. I mean, I saw it coming, but this is not going to be fun. Say goodbye to those lives. than it looks. Okay, I call bullshit on that one because I touched the top of it and it still killed me. Checkpoint there, so you can... So you can burn through all of your lives in 30 seconds. You know, I don't think I actually want to know what's beyond that punching bag hallway. I don't think I care enough. I think we've seen enough of the nightmare that is Rocco Quest. The dream never ends, but Rocco's quest will sooner than it should. Or perhaps not as soon as it should. I seriously don't know if this, I, I assume this must be a, a graphics thing, right? It's not actually supposed to show all of these particles everywhere that doesn't reset when you run out of lives. Enemies reset when you run out of lives, but all this other shit doesn't. Anyhow, that's Rocco Quest. It's uh, actually worse than I expected it to be. I mean, it's only $5, and I got it because it was like a dollar on sale, and I was like, eh, let's do a video on this, it looks like absolute garbage. And it still managed to, to, I don't know, surpass, underperform my expectations. It is worse than I expected it to be. And I was expecting it to be pretty bad. 
But sort of like, oh, it's a dumb old game, bat what, what? But this is like... This would have been awful even when it came out, you know? Like, a lot of times you'll try to justify something like, oh, it was good for its time, which kind of implies that the other things that came out around then were not great. And by comparison, this was okay, but this... This would have been bad. I would have been mad if I played this in 2003, and I'm mad that I played this now. And will never play Rock Quest again. I swear it. I'd rather play Garshasp. Maybe we should play through all of Garshasp. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire, this is Rock Quest, and I'll see you next time with a higher frame rate. Until then, you folks all take care, and uh, I'm apologizing to anyone who got horribly motion sick from this janky camera. You folks have a good one. Well, yeah, I want to finish the game. Game finished.